What's going on, Giants fans? Happy Tuesday. What it do, Big Blue Nation? Uh, I'm not going to lie, guys. I miss talking to you guys. Uh, I know it's been a while. I know I'm not putting out videos as much as I used to during the season, but it's kind of hard, you know. It's been a very slow and boring offseason after all the firings and hirings. Um, no big splashes, and that's due to, you know, our last GM, Dave Gettleman, messing up our cash flow. So we were unable to make the big, you know, the big free agent signing, sign the big fish out there. So maybe next year will be those moves. Um, but I'd, I'd miss you guys. I really do. I miss talking to you here. I miss, you know, talking Giants football, talking NFL football as a whole. Um, so pretty soon, you know, we'll get back into the swing of things. Pretty soon training camp will be a beginning, uh, off-season, preseason, all that stuff, all that good stuff that we'll talk about. Um, but I just want to talk about one thing in particular on this video, and that is the defense. Now, we all know that we have a new defensive coordinator this year in Don Wink Martindale, formerly of the Baltimore Ravens. Um, last year, we had Patrick Graham style of don't bend, don't break uh, attitude, which was good for the most part. Um, but very slow, very boring defense. Um, this year, however, I have a lot of confidence in Wink's system, and I think it's going to be fun watching these guys go go play on every Sunday. This defense is going to be nasty. This defense is going to be mean, relentless, nasty, in-your-face, shut-up defense. This is going to be, I'm going to attack the quarterback all day. And I can't wait to see it. Defensive players in practice are raving about Wink's system. They have a lot more excitement when they play. They're loose. He expects these guys to go after the quarterback and be relentless doing so. Um, Azisha Ajalari and Kayvon Thibodeau on the ends. You got Big Cat Leonard Williams and Dexter Lawrence up in the middle. You got some Blake Martinez coming back. You got Tate Crowder. This defense is going to be fucking nasty. I can just sense it. Just how the players are talking in practice. How they have so much more free range of motion going on. The Wink's trusting them to make the right calls. You got Xavier McKinney saying this is a fun, very loose very aggressive type of defense that he loves being in. Um, Julian Love has expressed the same excitement. Other guys, they just can't wait, can't wait to get going. Um, Kayvon Thibodeau is saying he can't wait to tee off on, on these uh, quarterbacks. Wink system lets them do that. Um, so I really, really can't wait, and I'm very excited to see what this defense is going to look like. I think it's going to look fucking nasty. Um he likes to blitz. He likes to put pressure on the quarterback. Our front seven is looking very, very good as of late. We got the vets mixed in with the young guns. I think Kayvon Thibodeau and Azish Ashalari are going to have a heck of a year playing along opposite sides of each other. Um, Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams up the middle, stuff in the run. Um, this defense will allow anyone who at any time blitz the shit out of the fucking quarterback and lay his ass on the fucking field all day every fucking day baby let's fucking go i'm excited if you can't tell um it's been a while since we had a nasty fucking defense that just hits the guys in the mouth i want to make their fucking teeth come out of their mouth fucking make their mouth bleed all that shit fucking level their ass into the fucking grass um, that's all I have to say about that. This defense is just going to be fucking relentless. Uh, and I can't wait. Um, other news, it seems like Joe Judge uh, still has his ways affecting the player's uh, mental state. Um, apparently, players are still afraid in practice to make a mistake. They're used to having to run sprints if they drop an easy catch. Uh, if they miss an assignment, they're used to jogging, doing push-ups, sit-ups, what have you. Um, and Brian Dable just has to keep telling them, listen, guys, I'm new here. Of course, we don't want to see you guys make mistakes, but this is practice. Mistakes are okay in practice as long as you can correct them. Um, so a couple of the young guys, we just got to get that Joe Judge state of mind out of their heads, and I think everything's going to be okay. 
um, in case you guys missed it on Twitter. I think you can find it on Giants.com um, or Eli Manning's Twitter. Yesterday or the day before, Cam Newton sat down with Eli Manning and asked him to put together his all-time Giants offensive lineup, um, 11 personnel, and it's the guys that he played with. Um, he picked Tiki Barber as a running back, which I was shocked. I would have went with Jacobs. You know, Jacobs with the one-yard line. That was a guaranteed six points right there. But he went with Tiki. Not a bad choice. He had over 5,000 yards receiving, 10,000 yards rushing. Not a bad choice. Um, he also went Plax, Odell, and Cruz as his top three receivers. Can't go wrong with that. Tight end shocked me a little bit. He went with Kevin Boss. Uh, I would have went Jeremy Shockey, but I think him and uh, Shockey kind of had a falling out near the end. He also stated that he didn't play with Shockey very too long. Um, so, Boss, you know, he did win a Super Bowl with Boss as well. Um, so, he picked Kevin Boss. But I thought that was a pretty little cool tidbit of information. Um, that's really all I got, guys. I'm begging to get back making videos daily. Just shit has to happen so I can talk about it. Um, I'm still planning on doing um, the Giants schedule previews and predictions. But I'm going to wait until maybe midway through training camp. Because you never know, guys can get hurt, guys can get uh, re-signed or let go. We can sign new players after those guys are cut from other teams. So I'm not going to do it too early, too prematurely. Um, still plenty of time before I, even those predictions even come remotely close to being exact. Um, but I still will do that. Also, as the days have gone by, I'm thinking about new stuff I can do heading into the new season. I do plan on doing some live streams during games, just like I did with the NFL draft this year. I think it'd be pretty cool for every other week or some certain games, some big games, I will do some live streaming on YouTube Live. Um, just so that, you know, I'm not by myself watching games. I can vent to the other fans on here and now uh, feel like I, you know, I'm watching it with a group of Giants fans, especially when I have another kid coming. I'm not gonna be able to be uh, be out and about at the bar watching the games. So I, I do intend on making some live streams during the games. And if they are uh, turn out to be successful, I will keep doing that. Uh, that's all I have for now. Um, stay tuned, guys. I got a lot more stuff coming up to talk about. Thank you again for uh, watching me. I miss you guys. Like I said before, I do miss you guys. I miss Talking Giants shop on here. And uh, hopefully pretty soon this season will uh, get ready to roll. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. As always, let's go. G-Men.